Alright guys, right, now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do what would be your first ever drum lesson. Okay, so I'm going to use the most basic beat, as, it's a rock beat, you definitely would have heard it, uh, for example, Billy Jean, Michael Jackson, okay, if you, you know, want to check out your sort of basic rock groove, listen to that song, I'm sure most of you know it already anyway. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and explain it in a way that you don't have to have any sort of, th um, like, theory background, all you've got to be able to do is count to four. I'm sure most of you can do that. All right, so I'm gonna try and explain it as simply as I can. This is literally the first bit we're gonna learn, and I'll leave it, and then what we can do is I'll show you where you can just like, you know, start bringing in like phase two, or just, just adding an extra couple of notes to that beat, and you know, end up playing on you would have heard in things like We Will Rock You, and you know, a whole you know, variety of, uh, of, of um, songs, you definitely would have heard these beats in. Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as possible, so this is for anyone to practice. Anyone, even if you've just, as long as you've got a drum kit, Okay, just do this and you'll be playing like a nice solid beat. Okay, right, here we go. Now, the first thing, right, this is, this is what we're going for, okay? Okay, um, basic record, a uh, bit of coordination required. All you would do, if you, if this is from, this, uh, the tutorial is for right handed people, okay? So if you're left handed, you're probably gonna just wanna swap your kit around the other way. Uh, and yeah, every time I say right, use your left. Every time I say use your left, use your right. Okay, but for simplicity sake, we're just going to keep it for right hands at the moment because I know there's more of you out there. Right. So first things first, we ignore the theory for the time being. All we're going to try and do is get you to play this groove. Okay, and to be able to do that, you're just going to be going one, two, three, four, and again one. Now this is the most important part, okay? This is this is your timekeeper, okay? And you're gonna be playing off of your right hand, okay? This is why you, you, if you're right-handed, you play like this because this is you know your strongest hand, your leading hand, and this one's gonna lead the way, okay? It's gonna sort of set the pace and everything else. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna start playing other notes um, on one. First of all, we're gonna kick, and then we're gonna hit the snare drum. We're gonna do that exactly the same time as we hit our hi hat, okay? So. I'll take a count to four, we're going to put a bass drum on number one. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now before you do anything else, make sure that you're hitting the hi-hat and the bass drum at exactly the same time. You don't want to be like that, because that will ruin it. You want to keep it nice and crisp, clean shot, both of them at the same time. Okay, now the second part, once you've got past there, is you're just going to add a snare drum, okay, uh, on number three. Okay, now <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen so many people try this, and the temptation will be when you get to beat number three or hit number three to play all of them. Okay, so many people do that, or to just hit the snare drum on its own. But what you've got to try and make sure is both hands are hitting the snare drum on number three. So you end up going one, two, These two together, we get our first basic uh, drum beat, rock groove, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we're going to add our bass drum on number one. So number two is just the hi hat on its own. Number three is going to be the snare drum and the hi hat, and number four is going to be that hi hat on its own. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay, this isn't technically the right way to teach it because these are what we're playing here are eighth notes, which we count as one and two and three and four and. But this is for this is for anyone who doesn't know anything about music, but just for you wouldn't mind playing the drums or having a go at something. Okay, so just count to four. Yeah, and just put the bass drum on number one and the snare drum on three. When you get confident, build up the speed. Okay, so start off slow. Just make sure all the notes are evenly spaced apart and when you're hitting the bass drum it's exactly the same time as you hit that hi-hat and starting the same thing with the snare drum exactly the same time as you hit the hi-hat again on the snare drum. So let's try and put this together and I'm just going to show you at a slightly faster pace. You go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to play twice as many but twice as fast. Okay, so you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you haven't got to worry about sort of like counting one and two and three and four and getting it all right. Just see if you can get that basic thing down first, and that will put you in good stead for moving on to the next phase. 
like I said, which we'll, we'll try and get the practical stuff done and then we'll apply the theory after. Okay, so just get your head around that one and um, I'll do another drum, uh, another lesson, which will follow this one directly and that will have just sort of where we start to add a couple more uh, notes to our drum beat. Okay, so yeah, give that one a go. Um, and yeah, keep following and um, we'll just build it up in stages and see how far we get. Alright, okay. Until next time, good luck. Just practice, start slow and then build it up as you go. Alright, cheers. Catch you later.